and welcome to Season 2 of the World Smash Federation. Following the epic Hour of Champions pay-per-view, everything has changed in the world of Down Smash Live and Full Tilt Smash. That means new talent and new number one contenders for each brand's prestigious titles. And two of those titles will be on the line tonight in a series of open challenges. Inkling will put her subspace championship on the line in tonight's main event, but first, the diabolical Phantasm Mionez will host an open challenge for the Asteroid Belt over on Full Tilt Smash. Who will answer the call? Let's find out right now. Let's see who's answering the open challenge. Oh my god, it is Yoshi! Oh, it's Yoshi coming back here thinking, oh, look at him taunting, thinking he can take on Phantasm. You'll remember, Yoshi debuted at the Hour of Champions pay-per-view in one of the dark matches, actually beating Greninja in a, in a very surprising debut. Oh, I remember. I remember seeing Yoshi with some very unprofessional uh, performances out there. Had a lot of anger, a lot of emotion, just like not a performer. Well, not, not what we like to see in the ring. Yoshi has maybe uh, some emotional issues when it comes to anger, but but he's very, very spirited. Uh, some maybe would call him brash, but he's putting on a hell of an offense here. I mean, he could win the title right here in this match. You'd think. But all I see is a lot. Oh, look, oh, there we go. That's that classic phantasm throwing the ball out there. Yoshi thinks he has monopoly Ooh. on eggs. But Almost let's see. put it away there. But it's really anyone's game. I mean, this is a quick, quick flurry of a match, and let's see. Oh, no. Oh. It's over. That's phantasm. You can't get past Phantasm. I mean, but at the beginning of this match, it looked like Yoshi could. Look at this incredible sequence, just pulling out so much innovative offense and quick work there. Egg play never goes that far, but here we see that classic Phantasm move. He's put away multiple opponents with that one. Yeah, speaking of putting away multiple opponents, we've seen this one kill too, and God, uh, well, Phantasm retains the belt here, uh, but a really spirited debut from Yoshi here. Sure, spirited, and, but, you know, a little bit naive. Oh, well, needs to, needs to a little bit more experience out there, I think. Get some things under control. Well, I, I guess that's right, but all right, fine. Let's let's move on to our next matchup, because we're going to see a, a, a grudge match between Bayonet and Palutino. We, we've seen this match before. This is the rematch. There's a lot to talk about in this feud, so let's go down to ringside. All right, now, this is a, a pretty anticipated rematch, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, a bit of a grudge match between, uh, you know, Palutino and Bayonetta. Uh, last time, you might remember, Palutino won. Uh, you see Bayonetta coming out immediately with some hard hits. And not only did Palutino win, but, but kind of embarrassed Bayonetta, who, who messed up their recovery and, and just fell right off. Yeah, but, you know, I think Bayonetta is, you know, obviously rallying in this one, has a lot of pent-up energy, and just, you know, it's kind of upset at, you know, her old friend for uh, doing her like that. You know, just firing a few quick shots off into the air over there just to show off a little bit. Yeah, again, old friend is kind of an understatement when it comes to these two. They have a, a little more Extremely intense history. Extremely good friends. I understand what you're saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, anyways, uh, Bayonetta was kind of uh, making a huge, huge statement in the beginning of this match, uh, looking not to be embarrassed again, but it looks like it's kind of even now. It's a little bit even. We saw Palatina get a little cocky over there. Got a little some... some Trying to show off a little bit uh, for the crowds. Well, yeah, I suppose so, but I, I mean, I don't know. Again, the, these two kind of hate each other uh, after after what went down yeah, between another, them. So another it's not taunt there from Palatina. You know, you, you know. You oh, oh, wow. oh, that that could have been it. But wow, Palatina just using some brains and ring awareness to get her out of the way. And oh wait, let's, oh, there it is. That's that classic leg drop. A classic leg drop. Uh, that, that's a that's a vintage wow. move. And look, early on, you can see Bayonetta just owning this match, hitting with that big fist early. Right, and, you know, there's a, there's a couple exchanges here, Palutina getting a couple big hits in, but, you know, ultimately, it's not going to go home for her. Yeah, especially once Bayonetta hits that leg drop. I mean, just such a classic move. And, oh, no, not again. We, we, oh, then there well, Pit goes. You know, I don't know why Pit wants to do this. Like, well, if you remember. He keeps coming back. When, when Palutina won, Dark Pit came to kind of, get, oh, and that's what happened to Dark Pit yeah, as well. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. I guess they're just, you know, sometimes men just aren't up to snuff. I, I guess so, but it looks like both of these competitors have kind of picked up some muscle or, well, I guess maybe not muscle, but. It'll be minions, interesting. Minions, minions, I think. Yeah. We'll see how this feud evolves, but next up, we gotta move to Down Smash Live. And look, big matchup between Little Mac and Mewtwo. Little Mac being named the number one contender to the Down Smash Championship. Let's go into it. So, Little Mac has had a ton of momentum in Down Smash Live, and because of that, he's been named the number one contender. Yeah, I know he's got momentum. I don't understand this. Like, he's 
We've talked about Lil Mac before. I just think he's not a he's not a showman. He's not an entertainer. Well, oh, look at that big counter there. Even Mewtwo's counter was flashier than Lil Mac's. That's that's fine, but uh, uh, remember that Lil Mac won his feud against Villager and then went on to oh, help the down charging up that, here, and this Lil Mac oh, does nothing with it. That's that's uh, that's an embarrassing misstep for Lil Mac. But look, Lil Mac was on the team at Hour of Champions, the the five v five team that beat that beat Full Tilt Smash. So I think he deserves this spot. Sure, okay. I mean, yeah, you could say how he's earned it and, you know, maybe done some things that have pleased the company, but he's not pleasing the fans. Well, oh, that's fair, but, I mean, Mewtwo hasn't really done much either. He lost that, uh, that, that fatal four-way, uh, as Little Mac did and hasn't done anything since. Listen, I don't know what you have against Mewtwo here. Little well, Mac here with a big punch. Oh, boy, what a surprise. Well, that's, that's his finisher, and let's take a look back at this matchup here. All right, here we see Little Mac with a flurry of Extremely boring punches, just kind of taking it to Mewtwo. It's effective offense, but it wasn't effective here as Mewtwo countered it and got some momentum going with that flashy, flashy offense. And, yep, here we go. We see Lil' Mac taking it home with another big old punch. Wow, well, that's that's the KO punch. That's a that's an incredibly powerful move, and if he lands that on Simon Belmont, the Down Smash champion, he'll become the new champion. So this is definitely someone to keep our eye on. But speaking of championships, we have to move on to our main event tonight because the Subspace Championship is up in another open challenge. This time it's Inkling's turn. Let's see who answers the call. All right, who's gonna answer? Oh my God. Oh my God, Ridley has answered the open challenge. Yep, as you know, Inkling said they'd take on anyone, they, so Ridley decided today was gonna be a bad day for Inkling. Look, Inkling has said anyone, anywhere, so just anybody can challenge them, but oh my god, that's a worst case scenario. You know, Inkling's actually holding it together pretty alright right here. Um, that's still got some big hits against Ridley. Actually, Ridley's yeah. totally covered in paint. That's true. Inkling is really showing off why they are uh, the, the subspace champion here. You know, it's Amazing mean office. of Ridley to do that to, to Inkling, to let them think they have a chance. Yeah, but look at this. Ink with it, the, the match turned around so quick, Ridley all of a sudden has Inkling on the ropes. I mean, one or two more big hits and that'll be it. And oh Oh my god! Oh, yep, oh. Almost puts it away. A near fall there. Inkling, too weak to get up after that hit. Here and comes now, that oh, hit. Oh, what wait. Hey, did the lights go out? Can, somebody, the can somebody turn the lights in the arena? What the? What the oh, hell? Piranha what plant the hell? It. It's Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant won by Down Smash Live at the Hour of Champions pay per view. And well, I you know, guess. No, Inkling said they take on anyone, anywhere, anytime. I guess so. So this is a triple threat match, which means that Piranha Plant is the new champion. What just happened? Uh, Justice. Piranha Plant deserved that. I mean, looking back here, Inkling had this match won. I mean, uh, destroying Ridley early on. It, it, it was a no contest. Yep, but here we see Ridley. It only takes a couple big hits from Ridley to put someone away, almost ending it right there. But then Piranha Plant, out of nowhere, gets into this match, and by Inkling's own rules, anyone, anywhere, I, Piranha Plant becomes the new subspace champion winning this triple threat matchup you know it's we have a title change and for this newcomer you know i think it's about time that they they definitely earned it they've been here they've earned it chaos to start off season two and on our next episode we're gonna see a lot more as the con connection takes on king ddd and meta knight another tag team in full tilt smash we'll see who's got momentum as we try to figure out number one contenders for Con Connections tag titles. And on Full Tilt, we'll have Lucario versus Incineroar, two heavy hitters, two fans of pain, just going at it in a world-class exhibition match. Right, and over on the Down Smash side of things, we're going to see a debut from Samus. Uh, very, very exciting. A lot of people have been anticipating this, so that'll be a fun one to look forward to. Yep. And finally, we'll see the Mecha Men versus the Kingdom for the tag team's number one contender. We have uh, two robots versus, you know, Luigi and uh, and his friend. They've been they're, they're a very good team. They belong together. They're very good. All of this next time on World Smash Federation.